All right. Hey, class. Today we're going to go over a lot of things. Let's start with some different data sets that I want everyone to be familiar with. So first thing I'm going to explain is how I uh, downloaded that data set, the iNaturalist ruby-throated hummingbird data set. So some of you may be interested in learning this because you may want to use a similar data set for your final project. So I'm going to uh, quickly guide you through how I saved that data set, and I will share the instructions with you on Elms so that you can play around. Um, and I, I give you a couple other suggestions of places you can get data sets as well. Then I want everyone to work this week on saving three different layers that we're going to use in ArcGIS. So the NLCD, so the National Land Cover um, Database, uh, state boundary lines, and urban areas. So I want you to save those three layers for sure. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to demonstrate that also. So first, let's start with the iNaturalist um, database. I am open that up and I will try to split my screen so you can read the instructions at the same time as I'm going through it. So from this data set and you can actually use um, the same data set I got from iNaturalist or you could use eBird or I could use um, USGS um, Texan shares their data set on here. So there's a lot of different things you can download from here. So you go to download and then GBIF recommended. I personally went to a current status. I sent that to present. And then for scientific name, you know, you can pick whatever species you're interested in. I happen to um, be interested in ruby throated hummingbirds uh, this year, trying out something new. So I navigated down to um, the scientific name. That'll take me just a moment to navigate down. Okay. Um, then I changed over uh, the location to ensure that it includes coordinates. I mean, we're learning how to use the ArcGIS, so we want to make sure our data has coordinates. Then I changed the year. So you can filter out whatever years you're interested in, but I just did the last five years of data. So I did 2015 to 2019, because 2020 isn't done yet. I kept all the months for the data set. Instead of eBird, I did iNaturalist research grade. For country, I set that to USA. So those were all the filters that I used. Then you'll see on the right the different files you can save. You want to ensure that you're saving the file that has coordinates. So I went to simple. I read through the user agreement. I went to understood. And it emailed me a link where I could then um, download their data set. So Basically, I had to first create a free username with um, GBIF. And then when I was logging in originally, I had to use that username and password so that when they are able to follow the filter that I set up and get down to that data set, they will email me the link. I will then go to that link, unzip the file, save that file to upload to my um, ENST 456 Google Drive. However, I do want to point out when I first unzip the file, I want to show you what it looks like. It is a tab separated instead of a comma separated value spreadsheet. So to handle that, um, I'm going to save all the data. So Control A selects it all. Control C 
copies at all. I'm going to open up Notepad. Control V. Pastes it all. So the reason I'm doing this is I'm moving it from one kind of style of an Excel file format, if you will. So from tab separated to comma separated. So anyway, there's a, several steps involved of going from, from the tab separated and then over to Notepad where I'm copying and pasting the data. Then I'm going to save it as a .txt file. Then I'm going to go back to Excel, open up that .txt file, and then convert it. So now you can start to see the difference in the format. Now you can really see that tab separated. So file, save as. So I'm going to save this. Save this like on my desktop, or you can save it on your thumb drive, wherever you want. But make sure you save it as a .txt. And then you're going to open it in Excel. So navigate to wherever you saved it. You have to change it to all files. So you have to tell Excel, find all files, open. And we're going to leave this as delimited. We're going to tell it my data does have headers. Next, tab, my text qualifier, I'm going to change to none. And now it's going to start looking more like I'm used to in just a moment. And we're going to see lots of extra columns of data that we don't need. So we still have to clean up the data. So even though we downloaded the original data, we're going to have to clean it up quite a bit to a format that makes sense to us. And we may change the headers. Um, so the labels of all the different columns, we may change it. We may delete whichever ones we want so that we have a data set that makes sense to us. So I'm just waiting for that to open. Sorry, it's a little slow. All right. Okay, so here it is now that it's been converted. And you know, feel free to take out lots and lots of these columns that you feel like you don't need. And basically the the ones you do want, you want latitude, longitude, you want to keep date, um, the month, the year, things like that. So anyway, when you're happy that it's all cleaned up, then you just save your final file, but make sure you save it as a .csv. So when it's all cleaned up, you're gonna save it. You're gonna call it like final data. And you definitely wanna make sure you save it as a .csv. Okay, so that's how I created that data set that we used. Um, for the last several class periods. All right, so now I want to go through the other layers that we're going to work on this week. So I want everyone to download the NLCD um, 2016 
data and state boundaries, our newest state boundary and our newest urban area. So let me demonstrate that. So land cover type. All right, so you'll see that there's many different years of the National Land Cover Database. So you'll see there's many different years, but the most current version for the entire continental US, the most current version is 2016. So that's the one we're going to download. You always want to make sure you're downloading a layer for GIS that matches your data, or you want to try your best. For example, um, when I was gathering data for my PhD project studying bats, I was studying bats in uh, 2015, 16, and 17. Back then, the newest land cover data was 2011, because the 2016 hadn't come out yet. So if I were to go study bats again and resurvey those areas, now I would use the 2016. Anyway, you're going to go to download, and it's going to take a long time to download. This is a really big file, so it's going to take quite a while. So you're going to save that, and then you're going to upload it to your Google Drive. Then I also want you to save state boundaries, that layer. So you'll go to Tiger Line. And again, like I said, the most current information is for 2019. You'll go to the web interface. And you have a lot of different layers you could download. That you may want to play around with other layers as well. But for this week, we're going to focus on uh, making the state boundary, the Maryland state boundary. So we're going to go to States, go to Submit, and then download that national file. So that's going to be the state boundaries of all the states. Later, we'll just save Maryland. All right, and I want to make a file so you all will save that and upload that to your Google Drive. And I want everyone to save the urban boundaries, so urban areas. So then you'll save that as well. And again, it's going to be the national file. And later, we'll clip out just the urban areas in the Maryland area. So you're going to save all those three layers. You're going to then upload it to your Google Drive. And then um, we're going to process those, those files in just a while. But that's what I want you to start this week.